Hello, this is Frankie, and we're making another tutorial. Um, we're going to go in-depth into AutoHotKey. I've been using it for a while, and I think I know my way around. So um, this is going to be a fairly long series of tutorials that you can pick and choose what you want to learn. And um, I'll post about how I think it should be used on my blog. Uh, probably after I finish this video. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start with variables. And um, in programming, variables are they're, they're essential. It's like the main, it's like probably the most important part of programming is having things that you can update and change and look at and do all sorts of things with so that it's not just you just do something and then it's as if it never happened. All right. So we're going to make a very simple variable. We're going to call it my var. And then we're going to use an assignment operator. This is the expression assignment operator. We'll cover that in maybe like five or six tutorials from now. Okay. And we're going to put my string. And um, whenever you type a string in AutoHotKey, well, most of the time, but <laughs> that's a little past this tutorial. Um, you put it in double quotes as if you were quoting someone saying something. So if I said, that guy said my string, well, I'm quoting that string, and then it goes from here into this variable. Okay? And if you watched the tutorial before this, which was the really basic one, uh, the Hello World tutorial, um, we showed how we could do a message box and have it say hello world. But instead of saying hello world, we're going to have it say whatever we put in my var. Okay? So the way we do that in a message box is we type my var in uh, percentage signs. And um, when we run this, what it should do is it should say my string in a little message box that pops up. Okay? So we're going to click run and you see now we have my string in a message box but it's not on the same line it doesn't say my string anywhere on this line we could actually put a bunch of other stuff in here we could put a equals I don't know whatever and even though my string was defined up here we can still access it somewhere else in our script okay and um, there's two types of things you can put in variables. You can put string, well, three types. Uh, there's strings, and there's numbers. We could have the number 5, and then we could have another variable, v2 equals my var plus 5. And if we check v2 down here, you see it says 10. So you can do all sorts of things with, with variables. You can do math and store it for later use, and um, really whatever you need to do. The only other thing that variables can store is objects, but that's going to be in either the intermediate or the advanced section of these tutorials. So um, now you can play around with this a little bit. Uh, you may run into some problems because uh, this stuff is confusing when you first learn it. But um, just try making assigning variables and then displaying them in a message box, as you see here. And I'll post this code exactly as it is on the blog, um, in case you want to use it as a reference. Thank you.